My Treatises Part 3 Be glad you heavens and those that live in them because your Creator is the mighty Spirit of Light. You pray this prayer for the attaining of wisdom. Pray for the coming of light to the all. Mighty Spirit of Light that shines through the cosmos, draw my flame closer in harmony to you. Lift up my fire from out of the darkness, magnet of fire that is one with the all. Lift up my soul, though mighty and potent. Child of the light, turn not away. Draw me in your power to melt in your furnace, one with all things and all things in one, fire of the life strain and one with the brain. Behold the glory of the first cause. I beheld that light, high above all darkness, reflected in my own being. I attained, as it were, to the God of all gods, the Spirit Son, the Sovereign of the Sun Spheres. He is the intellectual principle the Supreme Intelligence. And it says, there is one, even the first, who has no beginning, who has no end, who has made all things, who governs all, who is good, who is just, who illuminates, who sustains. Now to you I give of this wisdom, drawn from the flame of infinity's fire. Open the door to the kingdom of light peoples of the earth. This is our super cosmic creator the highest and super celestial one who dwells in the heaven of heavens. The prophecy says, yes, the children of men shall progress onward and upward to the great goal. Children of light shall they become. Flame of the flame shall their souls ever be. Knowledge and wisdom shall be man's in the great age for he shall approach the eternal flame, the source of all wisdom, the place of beginning, that is yet one with the end of all things. Yes, in a time that is yet unborn, all shall be one and one shall be all. Man, a perfect flame of this cosmos, shall move forward to a place in the stars. Yes, shall move even from out of this space-time into another beyond the stars. Listen, O oh man! Take of my wisdom. Learn of the deep hidden mysteries of space. The thought that grew in the abyss, bringing order and harmony in space. Blend O oh, your soul in the great essence, be one with the great light and let your consciousness be. Thought, however, differs from mind in this respect, that our thought attains by mental effort to the kind of knowledge which corresponds to the character of the cosmic mind, and having come to know cosmic things, it furthermore attains to a knowledge of eternity and the supercosmic gods. Learn of the deep hidden mysteries of space, he says. Let's ask why did he say that? It is because what he saw, I will show you, he says, down to the halls of Amenti I journeyed, the greater knowledge to seek. Asked of the lords of the cycles, the way to the wisdom I sought. Ask the lords this question, where is the source of all? The all is everything he created and will create. It's called the Milky Way Galaxy. Answered they in tones that were mighty, the voice of the Lord of the Nine said, Free your soul from your body and come forth with me to the light. Forth I came from my body, a glittering flame in the night. I stood before the lords, bathed in the fire of life. I was seized then by a force, great beyond knowledge of man. 
cast was I to the abyss through spaces unknown to man. I saw molding of order from the chaos and angles of night. I saw the light spring from order and heard the voice of the light. I saw the flame of the abyss, casting forth order and light. I saw order spring out of chaos. I saw light giving forth life. Then I heard the voice, hear and understand. The flame is the source of all things, containing all things in potentiality. The order that sent forth light is the word and from the word comes life and the existence of all. And again spoke the voice saying, the life in you is the word. Find though the life within you, and have powers to use of the word. Long I watched the light flame, pouring forth from the essence of fire, realizing that life is but order and that man is one with the fire. Back I came to my body. Stood again with the nine, listened to the voice of the cycles, vibrating with powers they spoke, Know you, O Thoth, that life is but the word of the fire. The life force you seek before you is but the word in the world as a fire. Did you understand what he saw? What he saw was our spirit sun that is the sovereign of the sun spheres. A sun sphere is like our sun which is our star life giver. Our star and earth, is the mode our creator uses to pass on life to us. Notice, the one who is not created cannot be grasped in the imagination. Indeed all things become clear through him, and he is manifest in all things, appearing mainly to those to whom he wishes to convey knowledge of himself. It is God then that everlastingly governs all the sources of life in the cosmos, he is the eternal dispenser of life itself. But when life has once been dispensed to all the sources of life, the supply of it is maintained in accordance with eternal law, and the manner of its maintenance I will proceed to explain. The cosmos moves within the very life of eternity and is contained in that very eternity where all life issues, and for this reason it is impossible that it should at any time come to a stand, or be destroyed, since it is walled in and bound together, so to speak, by eternal life. And the cosmos is itself the dispenser of life to all things in it here below, and the place in which are contained all things which are subject to control beneath the sun. The movement is of the cosmos itself consists of a twofold working, life is infused into the cosmos from without by eternity, and the cosmos infuses life into all things that are within it, distributing all things according to fixed and determined relations of number and time, by the operation of the sun and the movements of the stars. The process of time is wholly determined by God's law, but the lapse of terrestrial time is marked by the changing states of the atmosphere, and the variations of heat and cold, while that of celestial time is marked by the return of the heavenly bodies to their former positions as they move in their periodic revolutions. Aren't these some beautiful words? Come with me, let's walk the path and the way that I go.